India is an adventurous paradise. You head out for a holiday, which quickly turns into a survival situation. A dream turns into a nightmare. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm hungry and I'm lost. Shelter, water and food become a priority. A fire to keep you warm. But how? I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks to use in a self-reliant situation. Do not think problems can only happen to other people. It can happen to you. One of the perils of coming into high altitude, and this affects pretty much everybody to some extent or the other, is acute mountain sickness. And as you go up, because of the lower oxygen concentration, uh, there's lack of oxygen which is getting into your system, you need to breathe harder, you're breathless, and, uh, and you're tired, you're outside of your comfort zone, you may be walking, and you feel breathless, you feel tired, your lack of appetite, in some cases irritability, in some cases blurred vision, uh, your pee is yellow. Uh, so there are a lot of things which happen to the body when you're coming into altitude. And denial is a very big issue. Acute mountain sickness affects everybody, but you need to be careful and recognize the symptoms. Denial is a big problem, particularly when dealing with acute mountain sickness. People have lots of justifications. I didn't eat well in the morning, so my stomach is rumbling. I didn't sleep well, therefore I've got a headache. But all these things are symptoms of acute mountain sickness. And if you don't recognize it, if you don't treat it, and if you don't take precautions against it getting worse, you could be in for a lot of trouble. Acute mountain sickness, in extreme cases, can kill you. And the only thing that you can do to relieve the symptoms of acute mountain sickness is to descend immediately. Descend about 1,000 feet, 1,500 feet. Descend to a point where you didn't have the symptoms that you currently have. You could also try another thing before descending. Uh, it's not ideal. Ideally, you should descend. But take a paracetamol tablet. If your symptoms go away, it is unlikely to be acute mountain sickness. But if it doesn't go away, it certainly is. And it's not because you didn't sleep well or the food you had in the morning didn't suit you. It is a symptom of acute mountain sickness and you have to treat it. Another symptom of acute mountain sickness is dehydration. You're feeling thirsty. Not only that, uh, you need to drink a lot of water to take care of your dehydration. But drinking lots of water seems to alleviate the symptoms of acute mountain sickness. So when you're walking on a trail and going up into altitude, drink lots of water. The tablet Diamox has also been used by a lot of people getting into altitude to relieve the symptoms of acute mountain sickness. Ideally, sleep at least one night at altitude, at the level that you're at, and don't sleep more than a thousand feet beyond what you did the previous night. That's one way you can acclimatize and reduce the possibility of acute mountain sickness. Medical science still does not know why some people are affected by AMS or acute mountain sickness, while others are not. It also does not mean that if you've been to altitude before and not been affected by AMS, that the next time you go into altitude, you'll not be affected. We still don't know why we get affected with acute mountain sickness. We know the symptoms. So as long as we recognize the symptoms and take necessary precautions, we should be all right. But just remember, acute mountain sickness can kill you. And it can happen to you. Learn to adapt, improvise, innovate, and overcome. To learn more tips and tricks, visit this site. I'm Chandan Lahiri, and I hope to see you soon at the OTS Survival School. Leave nothing but footprints. Bring back nothing but memories.